Y'all, I'm mad as hell. I just gave this my number. And, bro, why when he got out the car, he had stains on the back of his drawers. Oh, no. Now, I'm about to show y'all a video of him when I get out the car. Because he want me to come meet up with him and smoke with him. I'm about to show y'all. Put your finger right there. It's so hard. At the end, boy, it's, tw it's two of them. So, so what you like to do? Hold on, hold on, mama. Hold on, mama. You try to tell me that after you noticed my boy had the dookie stains on his boxers, you still went to smoke with him. So then he smoked you out for free, and instead of you saying, you know what, homie looked out, smoked me out for free, I ain't even gonna put him on the internet like that. You still put him on blast. What is the point of that? Like, honestly, what was the point of that, son? I ain't making no excuses for the n You a grown-ass man. You should know better. And honestly, bro, for her to see the dookie stains on your boxes, that means you was sagging. And you look over 40. You shouldn't be sagging. Sagging over 40 is crazy. But back to you, ma. What's the point of this? I'm asking a rhetorical question because I know what it is. Everybody want to go viral so bad they don't care who they hurt. This is the most silliest thing I've ever heard. And I seen a girl post a video about this. And she like screenshotted this man's DMs of him hitting her up all the time. And she put like a sound to it saying he keeps bothering me. He keeps bothering me. He keeps bothering me. If he's bothering you that much, block him. You clearly like the attention. You, some women are not problem solvers. It's like you like the attention. You like to complain. You like to make things bigger than they are. If a guy's hitting you up constantly and you don't like him, there's a block button for a reason. Use it. You're coming on social media and making a whole post about it. I don't understand. Y'all just literally want to complain about every little thing when it comes to men when you can easily block them. So I don't understand. I don't understand posts like this, y'all. Or all oh, the man in my DMs are so annoying. They be having conversations with themselves. Then block them. If they're so annoying, if they're incels, if they're weirdos, if they're perverts, then block them. Simple. That block button is free. Use it. Free block button. Get to it. I'll say social media is a place where people literally either come to stroke their ego or create scenarios for validation. I've seen this a lot. I've seen people post screenshots of DMs. Matter of fact, one of the last two videos I reacted to, I was saying how studs who would be a stud today, then tomorrow they would dress up in something provocative where men are just gonna thirst over them. They create thirst traps for men, even though they're not interested in men. So now once these dudes start hitting them up in the DMs, they screenshot all these messages and come back and say, oh, I don't like y'all. Why can't I dress like this without y'all bothering me? I'm not even interested in y'all. I'm interested in women. Wait, why do it? You know what's gonna come of it. Hey, this got no food. You said my cake. Ain't no cake in here. I just dropped off your you cake, ain't lady. You dropped off your no cake, man. Well, don't call well, in. Well, don't call in because I need my cake with, with, with my refund in it. Well, you gotta call. I don't want to hear that. Get my refund. Go get my cake, ma'am. The Please. cake look right there. Ain't, ain't no cake in here. Ain't no cake. You need to give me my cake. I'm calling DoorDash, Lyft, Reese, whoever. Let me go see if I can block you from. Ah! It pains me to know that people like this actually exist in this world. On the flip side, don't she look like the lady from the Friday After Next? Y'all know who I'm talking about, Miss Pearly. Tell yo daddy I say hi. Pause. I don't even think I should have done all that on camera. But she looked like Miss Pearly. I mean, if y'all gonna do that, the least y'all could do is take the leaves off the tree. Come on now. Do I have any Indian people that's um subscribed to my channel? Why y'all be doing this? I just wanna know, like, what what is what is that? What is this? Y'all ever seen that? Like they be talking. Hey buddy. Damn boy. I'm gonna stop.
I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. If you can go three, four days without talking to me, and I got to keep constantly calling and texting you, then baby, we ain't meant for each other. Because I'm more than likely calling and texting you in this manner because you were once calling and texting me like this. You said you wanted to be in my skin, and now that you're in this motherfucker, you want to disappear. Hell no. What I'm going to do is what's best for me, and I'm going to back the up, unfollow your ass so I don't got to see you on social media, and block you from calling my phone because I gave you a chance. Now I don't want you. First off, her voice started out deep as hell. I thought it was some transformer activities going on, but... Obviously, it's not. Then she made sure that we saw them cheeks. She made sure that before the video ended, we saw them yams. Now, as far as three or four days, man, it depends on, on how far in the relationship y'all are. Like, if y'all are in a full-blown relationship, then yes. That's a problem that you're going three or four days without talking to somebody that could potentially or is potentially your girlfriend. Now, if y'all are in the beginning stages of talking... I don't know, three or four days might seem a little, that's kind of long, bro, to be honest with you. So I, I might, I I agree with her. And the crazy thing is, she, she made a point too where she said, you said you wanted to be in my skin. And if I'm calling you like that, that means that you were calling me like that. And it's people like that who, at, when y'all start talking, they just all over your body. They stalking you, they on you like the CIA. Then, once you start reciprocating that, you start opening up. All of a sudden, they get to feeling themselves and they start backing up. You feeling like, oh, this person really like me. Okay, let me see what they're about. Let me start communicating back. And you start returning that same energy they was giving you, they stop. Stop playing games with people. Keep your intentions pure. Let your intentions be known. I feel as though a chick would respect you more if you just tell her what's going on right here is just sexual. This might not go no further than what's going on tonight. Just let that shit be known. But don't go lying to people and... Feeding them dreams and f making them feel as though it's, it might be the beginning of a fairy tale. And then as soon as they put their guard down, that's when you get to acting silly. That goes for men and women. But I feel as though a lot of dudes do that more than women. Most women play hard to get. Oh my God. Bro. What soccer team this is? All I'm gonna say is thick thighs save lives. Thick thighs save lives. I never understood what that meant. I just feel as though in this situation, it's accurate. What does that actually mean? Why are we saying that? Does that mean she can cook? That means I'll, that means I'll never go hungry. <laughs> Get my mind out the gut. Oh, well, well, I'm married. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, he did. This man said, I like your car, it's so beautiful. Just like you, with his girlfriend sitting right there on the passenger side. Ain't no way you can be that thirsty. He. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions because um that might be his sister. That might be his sister. Yeah. Come with me to take my 15 year old daughter to have a talk with her narcissistic father. 15 years divorce, this is co parenting. Pray for her. I'm not allowed to cross the gate. I want us to really think about it now. There's got to be a reason why you're not allowed to pass that gate. We need some more context. Because right now, you looking like the bad guy. You the one putting this shit on the internet. How about we get a story time? And tell us what happened. What led to all of this? And you know what's crazy? I'm going to be honest with you. We can have your side of the story, but I want to hear your husband's side of the story too. Because...
Believe it or not, everybody's a hero in their own story. And I, I bet you thought this made you look good. Videotaping a meetup between you, your ex-husband, and your daughter, and it seems as though your daughter really needs to talk to him about something, and you decide to put it on the internet? Because now you didn't even make it about your daughter and what your daughter needs to talk to her father about. You made it about you. That right there is a red flag, and I'm asking the question, who's really the narcissist? Hey, I need an officer's help right now. I'm having a conflict. I'm having a conflict. Yeah, I, I need you to arrest me right now. Officer, come on. I ain't wasting your time. I need you to arrest me. I've been a bad man. A bad... Yo, that sound like the um Pop the Balloon guy. What they call him? Donatello? Leonardo? The, the nigga, they call him Turtle? Turtle Man? That sound like him. He's not wrong in trying to riz up a New York City police officer. For some strange reason... Matter of fact, no. We're not going to say for some strange reason. The New York City police force has some of the most attractive female police officers. And quite honestly, if I lived in New York and I was single, yeah, I feel as though I'll be dating a police officer. She'll probably be from the Bronx or something. You know what I'm saying? Probably be like Puerto Rican or something like that. But, 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 but. It's, it's still, I can't even say that because I got friends that are cops, man. If you grew up in New York, you'd kind of understand the relationship that we have with the police in New York. Because stop and frisk was a thing. When I come to the South and I hear people complaining about police down here, I don't think they really understand what we had to go through in New York. You feel me? Amadou Diallo happened. Abner Louima happened. Sean Bell happened. My young boy Kiki happened. Even though I have a lot of friends that are police officers... And to be honest with you, ooh, I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. Talking to my friends and how they explain why some of these things happen, it's just as we always suspected. A lot of these that are cops are pussy. Personally, I feel as though the best cops would be hoods. And some of y'all may not agree with me saying this, but I honestly feel as though the best cops would be people who grew up in the hood. Those who, who are accustomed to walking around in that type of environment and not being scared. My mans, he worked for APD. He was telling me a story about some chick. And she was belligerent, you feel me? And these dudes was ready to shoot her. They was ready to shoot shorty. And he had to, he was like, yo, chill, chill, chill. He had to talk her down. He was like, yo, I'm, and then talking to her, like, I'm trying to give it a dick. Like, I'm in here like, yo, what's up, man? Like, chill, what's going on? Ah. And he talked her down. He saved her life. He put his gun up and he just talking to us. These pussies was ready to shoot her dead. I got so many stories about NYPD. From growing up, and mind you, I wasn't like, I was in no street. Just me having stories about NYPD is crazy. Imagine getting stopped in first because you fit the description, but you're coming from a basketball game. You smell like sweat and balls. Where you coming from, sir? I just finished playing a basketball tournament. They hop out. And undercovers back then, I don't know how undercovers move now. Undercovers back then, they look like motherfuckers. Look like a bunch of retired baseball players. That's how they used to look when they used to patrol my neighborhood. A bunch of retired white baseball players. A bunch of Mark McGuire's. If you don't know who Mark McGuire is, look him up. I got so much shit I can say about NYPD, bro. I used to play ball in Tillin Park. It was these two brothers that used to come there. They either were Trinidadian or Guyanese. I want to say they were Trini. They Originally, they're from Trinidad, right? But they always used to come play ball with us. So we in there, we hooping. Oh, oh not to mention... They were cops. But when they play with us, you know what I'm saying? They they blend in, okay? But they've been playing there for years. We all in there playing ball. Bunch of good old boys walk through trying to antagonize. There was no reason for them to stop over there. To, to They're not even sitting there watching us play ball. They, they walk through trying to uh, intimidate. Trying to intimidate. So they get to asking questions and shit. And they get to pinpointing certain people. So the dude... The brothers, well, one of the brothers who's actually a cop, he came over there. He like, hey, what are y'all, what are y'all doing in this neighborhood? They got to acting up like, what you mean? What are we doing in this neighborhood? Man's uh went in his bag, pulled his fucking badge out. What are y'all doing in this neighborhood? Are you patrolling this neighborhood? Is this your patrol? Is there a suspect over here y'all looking for? Shut him up right quick. And then they left. And after they left, he got the same, the same shit I'm saying. Like, why, uh, why do they have these motherfuckers patrolling neighborhoods that they're not from? To them, every one of us out there look like a suspect. They don't know how to differentiate. If you grew up in the hood, you know how to differentiate a predator from prey. Regardless. 
regardless, regardless of the color of the skin, you feel me, regardless of what a motherfucker have on, you know how to differentiate a predator from a prey. And I feel as though that be the problem. Like, they, they pull motherfuckers over and they treat everybody the same. 